Greetings, all praising the king. Today, speaking about manufacturing opposition. Long way to tell, I'm down with an operative. That's the other thing is that some people say, you know, this guy thinks he's cool. But this is a way distinguishing yourself from them. I'm not talking about, you know, someone, you know, staging a, a show, pulling out a big split for some CBD. Then they're really trying to be cool. We like to sit down with them. So, these are agents. <clears throat> they're either working for the state, you know, the state, companies or institutions which is all what I and I refer to as Babylon based on the ancient tradition of corrupt broken rule of law we now can refer to monkey rule and what's the role of these actors and actresses these are models. They're there for others to mimic, follow. It's, it's a display. People are being displayed like trophies. And other people are worshiping them. You know. yeah. So this is a form of idolatry. And the role of these individuals is to sell the shit for these controlling bodies. Now these controlling bodies are necessary to disguise the individuals behind them. That is so the monkeys. show up looking like monkeys and people might say mm, I'm suspicious so what they do is they send the agents you know, what they call public relations yeah. agents are supposed to have something in common they want to sell something like a device. Well, they look at the information they've gathered from the smart device, for example, and they could determine which individual will, will be willing to wear this device for what reason. And sometimes, it's necessary for them to use their operative agents, you know, in this case agents, because they're unaware of how they're being manipulated uh, or how they're being used to manipulate others. And that provides for the incentive. You know, we spoke about uh, incentivization
is the way to move people in that direction. You might not see this in the dictionary because it's not a word that exists, uh, but it's basically providing for a means of security for others. But it's false security in this instance. See? The security is only based on the perception. When other people perceive that the chip is going to bring them security, convenience, which is really a form of security, and well being. It's going to advance your health. That's what <laughs> the Babylon keeps selling their shit on this health. Idea that somehow it's going to make you, you know, healthier. They've manipulated the statistics. They're not including abortions uh, when, they, when they do their life expectancy results. Uh, when they always included childbirths in the past. So life expectancy has gone down. Uh, but And the other thing is they're, they're only basing their numbers off of their civilizations, which went through plagues. Man. If you go to places like Haiti, which is the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere, you'll know that the life expectancy is actually greater than most places on the planet. And that says that those statistics may be before the AIDS epidemic, as well as earthquakes. So these operatives we're seeing now, you know, all over. Uh, you've got these characters that that are now being displayed, um, you know, from the social media networks. This is something been, that has been in the making. You know, the feds claim, oh, they're looking for such and such. These are just faces they've propped up uh, for others to mimic. It's the same concept with the group ISIS. You know, they showed these kids uh, some something on a the screen. They profiled the, the individuals. Uh, they know which one's the target. They're going to show them this group. They're going to shed the group in however way, you know, prop them to make them look like this is, this is the wave of the future. And uh, they get these kids to, to, uh, to come out and carry out uh, the Babylonian agenda. Now they're saying, oh, these guys are being banned on YouTube. So they want, the, 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 the Babylon, the monkey, you know, the monkeys are hoping that you believe what they say, that these characters are dangerous. If, if, if people are to believe that, like, uh, you know, Alexa Jones is dangerous, then they're going to probably listen to him. You see what I'm saying? So they played, you know, they played, they played uh, people against each other. Now, characters like Alex probably just are looking for attention, so they're going to do what they do. Uh, they've been members of this, this organization, that organization, which are just being controlled by the rats, the rat child. You know? So, so, the result, as we often talk about, the results are probably most important to look at first, you know, if they're available. And the results are available. The results show that these characters have gotten more attention. Now, now the, the interesting thing is that 
these characters were losing attention. They were losing uh, focus. And in that way, the, you know, trust even. You know, like they say, their numbers were going down. So there was a need to save them. Same as the communication channels. People were turning away from the communication channels. The Babylon knew this was their greatest threat since they developed this internet. See, the internet was meant to trap people. It wasn't meant to trap themselves. So when they developed it, they knew that, that there, was, there was a possibility that there would be some kind of people out there that would come out and they would speak. And that other people would actually listen to what they had to say. So, you know, so it is the, 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 let's for example, the Pentagon, for example, this, this concern about protecting its interests. Now, we've seen what the results have that have been of protecting its interests. You know, when it says, this is for national security. Um, in between the wars in the Middle East and the way the perception of the, their country has from others around the earth and this kind of thing. Those are the results. Those are results. Now, they're banking that everybody just goes out flat evil. And in that case, then they would praise them for doing what they do. But to take them as an example, let's not pretend that they just developed or helped to develop uh, this, this, this technology and didn't think about what kind of threats they pose. Um, once they have determined, here's the threat, and it's an obvious one. There's no, probably no other more obvious threat that there could, could be other than the threat of real leadership. Once they've, they've pinpointed this is, this is our main threat, what else could come out of that? So that's where the institutions come and play. Because this is a network, the Pentagon is involved. That's considered the state, right? These networks now communicate with one another and they say, you know, we need, we need somebody. We need someone, we need a face. That's where this, these, these people come from. You know, usually they have one kind of issue that they're pushing that other people relate with. They join them and that they can, you know, select who would be the best candidate. So these are manufactured operatives. You know, the objective is total confusion. The public does no longer know who they can trust, who they can listen to. Uh, the other thing is they branded <clears throat> not just the individuals, but the, 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 these social media platforms. Uh, for example, so that when somebody sees you, like for example, talking to the camera, they are already thinking about one of these operatives. See what I'm saying? They're they're thinking that you're 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 trying to mimic one of these operatives. Yeah. So they got in first, in other words, and they wear it out so that people are tired. Nowadays, people don't want to hear what other people just want to say most of the time. They want to see a bunch of stuff. The attention span has gone way down. You know, people are hooked. It's like people can't even listen to music anymore. Like music's going away. The Babylon telling us that the artificial intelligence is taking over the music scene. Well, that could be for a few reasons. Hopefully, we'll have a chance to discuss that. But in terms of the attention span, um, that shows you that people seem to not enjoy just listening to music no more. They have to actually have more than that. Now, if that's the case, then they have to have a whole video, visual audio. Uh, we've heard and we've talked about the possibility about the other senses, you know, smell, uh, all this stuff. The, the idea is to captivate people. We'll call this the confusion of cap.
captivization. Captivizational confusion. Um, people no longer know what what to think. They don't know what's good. Um, as you, you know, if you go to the library and you watch some of these people that go in there and they watch those videos, they they turn it on the YouTube and they just they get sucked in. Next thing you know, they're making noises. Their bodies moving around. I mean, and and. and, and and you could think, well, that's good that that person's enjoying themselves. Like, why would you want to take that? That's positive. But you, you start to see people now, you know, that they've got this discoloring around their eyes because they've been staring at the screen so long. You got to think there's something pretty much that's not healthy about the way people are living. And the results will show. So, manufactured optative could get pardoned in our lifetime, you know, maybe this this would be more of a, a sly operation, uh, but who's to say that, like, characters like Assange is, is really in jail? Um, you know, one could say, well, you know, perhaps uh, people should come together, have an organization, purely voluntary, uh, with... Uh, you know, individuals throughout each area so that when something happens, you know, people can can uh, check up on it. The institutions are what's going to keep people from being able to do this. Because once you say, well, we like to find out if Assange is in jail. Let's go ahead and book an appointment. They move. It.